eclectic one that I just, I cannot wait for other people to hear. So please, uh, I mean, I'm here with the fabulous Lady Bianca. And I say that because look at this attire, amazing. <laughs> look at this mask, amazing. Um, so please, for those who don't know anything about you, which shame on you, but um, can you please let us know uh, what you're about? What do you do? Who are you? Who is the Lady Bianca? Well, I have been, um, I think ever since I was four, I've always been um, been amazed by the sound of music. It's something that does something that makes me feel better. And even when I was a little kid and I was like by myself, I'm basically always by myself. My, my other sister's like four years away from me, but I was basically by myself. And my mom bought me a little tiny toy piano, which I still have when I collected a little toy tiny piano. And I noticed that I could hear the choir singing and I would go home and try to sing and play the songs that I've heard. Because they, music does something to your soul. It makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. So that's what I, I got into from. And then I was in, then I went to high school. That's when I got all, um, I think I got more self-centered then. Mm -hmm. so I mean, self-conscious, not self-centered, self-conscious. <laughs> okay. That's when you have the, the bumps in the, Mm -hmm, and the hair don't mm -hmm. back right and the right. teenager and you did just like that. And so I was like kind of like more quieter than mm -hmm. the other people all said, Look at her. Ha ha ha. And they were like I had like a gang of girls always walking by me talking about how I look. Mm -hmm. And so I was I felt very insecure and very because it kept quiet. Mm -hmm. So I figured out the best way to get along with people was that I could sing and I knew I could sing because we sing in our house all the time. Mm -hmm. I could sing and I could play piano a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I figured out if I did that, I could get friends that way. So in high school, I became the voice of high school. Okay. And that was in Lincoln High in San Francisco. Yeah. And then that's when my, kind of like my career started. I won a, a um, scholarship to the Conservatory of right, Music. Right. And then it went on from there. And then my mom was like, definitely, you know, the middle class, they definitely want us to be in the opera area. Mm -hmm. and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but my dad was from Houston, Texas, and he was listening to Ray Charles and and, um, and, and uh, Aretha Franklin mm -hmm. and Mighty Clouds of Joy and all those people and, and uh, Davis Staples. And, nice. and he would he let me hear those things. And I, he also said, just play them. And I would do it by ear. Mm -hmm. So that kind of like started me to getting those tones, the tones I like to hear that made me feel good. Here we go again. Tones I like to hear that they made me feel good so I would learn them. Mm -hmm. So we went through all of our, all of the time. And then I ended up at um, working for, I think it was like Ma Bell, okay. you know, in San Francisco. Yeah. But I was also working at the topless clubs. <laughs> I wasn't topless, but I was working over there. <laughs> and there was a lot of, you know, like those was the top, um, Black blues musicians over there, mm -hmm. like Eugene Blackmail was over there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, uh, like Tony Parker was over there. Mm -hmm. The people that were like this, the really strong, the uh, Cornish sisters were coming to mm -hmm. visit me. Okay. It was all kind of like everybody was like getting their their thing together, and so I think that's where I learned. And I went into Evolution of the Blues with John Hendrix. Yes, yes. And I went to Sylvester for the. the, the um, Gay scene where I learned how to dress. Right. He's like, he learned me, taught me how to dress. He's like, you think you got on too much? Put on some more. He was right. like, all these things were the ball of my yarn. You right. know? And what was around this time? What was the time? It was, was about in the 70s. 70s. Yeah, nice. about the 70s. I was just beginning. And then I got a call from Sly. I went to go see Sly yeah. Stone, Family Stone. Yes. And then it was like a little bit dramatic there, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> But I loved Sly because he had that church thing. He had mm -hmm. this church gospel feel there. Mm -hmm. So I always loved I was so glad I got to work with him. And I went to school with his sister. So that's okay. how I got the So name. you were doing background. You were seeing background because it wasn't just Sly. It was also like Van Morrison. Well, that and... came afterwards. I okay. got the Van Morrison. Then I went to, then I went to Van Morrison. Mm -hmm. No, I went to Frank Zappa. Oh, yes. I went yes. to Frank. And then I had like a year of him. And then... Um, it was a very, very tedious tour, mm -hmm. but but the experience was incredible. Mm -hmm. I, I think I did my when I was listening back to some of my music with him, like you can't do that on stage anymore. Mm -hmm. That young lady could sing. She was she sang for her life. Yeah. She sang because she was terrified. Mm -hmm. But she sang, you know. Yes. That girl sang. That Bianca sang. Okay. And then I went to Van Morrison. 
And then I sang with him, and then I loved his music because it was like a story too, but it was kind of different. But I could let me arrange all the background from there, mm -hmm. and that was cool. Mm -hmm. I learned things from both of them. It was like financial, and I learned nice. how to. I just loved the big crowd, anyways. I learned that, mm -hmm. so that kind of ended for a minute. Um, a lot of vice versa things, and you know, when you are a star, if you're a background singer, and you and you you're more powerful than you should be, and you stand out. <laughs> People don't like that. They kind of like, mm, you gotta get better her. Yeah. Now. No, no, no. Mm. Okay, I like it, but you know. And did you feel like you experienced that? Yeah. That yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. But I met. I had some good friends. I met a lot of fans of musicians, and mm -hmm. it wasn't so much that I was out singing them. Yeah. It was just I could sing just as well as they. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So when did you discover the Lady Bianca sound? I and found the Lady Bianca. Let you didn't Lady Bianca sound at. Not her sound, but I was named Lady Bianca around the um, beginning of my career. Uh, when I was working in a topless joint, yeah. here, um, <laughs> this guy named Quinn Harrison, the masterminds, he mm -hmm. was working down in uh, down in uh, um, San Mateo area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had just came out of the opera, you know, opera stage. I was like, very old. I was so operatic. And he goes, you know, you're such a lady. You just don't, you don't, you're so pure. That's your name, Lady Bianca. So that's how I got the name. So the Lady Bianca stuff, but I went through some mud. Lady Bianca went yeah, through the mud, yeah, you know. Yeah. But, but I think that it finally fits me. I never did like the name, but okay. it finally does fit me. Okay. When did it fit you? When it started you? fitting me probably maybe about after having children. I started oh, feeling that. Okay. What about motherhood brought that? Well, the motherhood, because you have to prove something to your children that you're not. You know, you have to take care of them. Yeah. And there are certain things and certain ideas that can ruin your relationship, especially when you have sons. Mm -hmm. For instance, if some people have to go, some people are told that if you do this for me, I'll let you sing. Mm -hmm. Or if you do this for me, I might record you. Mm -hmm. Or if you you're over here, do this, do this for him and him and him. Mm -hmm. And those kind of things. And that was one of the reasons I think that I didn't really make it with them because I would, I refuse mm -hmm. to be humiliated or refuse to. Because I thought in the back of my mind, someday I'm going to have children, and I would hate for them. Just like my like my Beethoven is picking up all these things now. You hear yeah. all these things he's picking up from back then that me singing. And Beethoven's your son. So my Beethoven is my my second son. Mm -hmm. He is re he's a researcher. He has researched all that I've done, and I'm so glad that there's no refutation of that sort there. Mm -hmm. Not that I put down other people that had to do it, but yeah. basically, I was strong enough. I didn't make it like they did too. Mm -hmm. See, they made they make the big the big thing. There's certain things you have to do to put the game you have to play. Right, so I, right. I refuse to do it. And yeah. So, but then when I, then when I got with Graham Morrison, that didn't work out. Graham wasn't that type. Neither was Zappa that much. But it was just like there were some things that they wanted me to do that I didn't want to sing or I didn't mm -hmm. want to, you know, mm -hmm. I couldn't stand for. It. So. So and then when did you come out with your first album? My first album was 1983. Okay. I met my husband. Nice. He was not my husband. He was my producer. He had a record, local record. You fell in love with your producer? I did. I fell in love with him. See, that right there. No, he fell in love with me first. Okay, okay. He did. Right. He, he, he said he heard me on the radio. Okay. <laughs> At Ivy's in Oakland. I didn't okay. fall in love with him until like maybe four years later. Because you were just into your work. Yeah, I was just into that work, but mm. he was a hell of a writer. He mm. is a hell of a writer. Okay. And so we did really good music together. Yeah. He fell in love with my sons. And then he asked me to marry him, but I said, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, because I just went through this other thing. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But well, then one day, oh, go ahead. Sorry. But one day, I said, today is the day you're going to marry me because my sons were teenagers. And mm -hmm. I didn't want them to be running around, dropping seeds everywhere, mm -hmm. not being responsible. Mm -hmm. I said, responsibility comes with marriage. You're supposed to have this happen, this happen. This happen. Yeah. So I did finally marry him. But in the meantime, our first album came out in uh, 1983. We had Let's Make Plans to Meet Again. We had a 45. Mm -hmm. And it was really good. It played good on KBLX. Okay. And we had um, a lot of other albums that we produced and uh, wrote together. Mm -hmm. And so we've been just continually making them. Then my next album came out on Tell Art Music. Okay. Then I had Rooster Blues Music. Then after that, Magic Gold Records. Mm -hmm. I was the vice president and made everything happen through Magic Gold Records, mm -hmm. home of the Mighty Oakland Sound. Mm -hmm. So that's where we are right now. Nice, nice. And what if you could 
um, summarize the sound for your album, what would that be? Well, he, well, my husband says that he's from Macon, Georgia, right? Mm -hmm. So we're caviar and collard greens, he said. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so it's like, we both like the fishy things and we both like the greens, but it's the difference <laughs> in the way they're presented. Right. You know, he likes fried, you would like fried fish, but I would say, oh, no, I want wine and <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's kind of brings like this, this fancy, like this um, bringing like this etiquette to country, the, yeah. country. Right, yeah. right, right. But then I have a sound. He says I have the sound of the Southern soul. Mm -hmm. Because he says somewhere down in my history, um, that was that's the DNA of something happened. And yes, yeah. we do. We're from Alabama, mm -hmm. our family, mm -hmm. Alabama, nice. that area. So it seems like those roots are really yeah, strong. Yeah, they've grown into there, yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, we were talking earlier about storytelling. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of curious of, given the current climate that we're in right now, what story are you now telling in, in maybe in your new work or just what you're working on right now? Well, really, basically, um, we wrote those songs like maybe in 2010, 2005, but those songs are relevant right now. Mm -hmm. They weren't relevant then. Nobody was listening. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, women need money too, or are you really satisfied? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I need someone to love me. Yeah. Those yeah. kind of songs like that. I found love. Mm -hmm. Love songs always hit. Always, they're always going to be love songs. Although people don't think that they are, but love songs will always be standard. Mm -hmm. um, people with a lot of love songs. People with a lot of songs that pertain to me. And without the Lord's blessings, where would I be? Yeah. Those kind of songs like that. Mm -hmm. It's beautifully written, mm -hmm. and so. We're just now, I'm beginning to feel like I'm just now opening up to those songs. I can actually, yeah. I've been doing it for a long time, mm -hmm. but the songs are now finally, where did you get that song from me that's opening up? Yeah, so, yeah. And what are you doing now to hold yourself at bay with what's going on? <laughs> well, I'm, um, the songs fit now. Mm -hmm. They kind of fit right now. And my husband is, is, um, He's 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 able. To, he's like gotten older now, and so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, his songwriting is done. But, okay, okay. But uh, like kissing a rose, like that yeah. song, kissing a rose. Mm -hmm. He's um he's letting me fly now mm -hmm. by myself and just doing things, things like that, mm -hmm. and just everyday living. You know, yeah. Taking care of each other. Right. Um, we wrote a song when his mom passed called "Take Care of Mother." It's mm -hmm. real beautiful. Mm -hmm. Those kind of things. We're working about everyday life and how, and even like seniors are going through something really some really transitions right now mm, mm -hmm. because i feel like because i've become a senior now mm. and i didn't realize how much um how much they are put in a category too mm -hmm. everybody's put in the category mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just because you have a number by your name mm -hmm. you're no longer viable and that's not right yeah, yeah yeah which actually makes me think with you being as experienced and seasoned as you are on top of our current global climate, do you have any suggestions for those that are, you know, just discovering themselves, those, those younger Biancas, right? <laughs> During like what's happening right now. Um, like, do you have any advice that you can give to them? One, stand up. Hmm. Don't allow yourself because they throw a, a million dollars at you that you're going to be there forever because you're not. Hmm. You'll be gone in 10 minutes. And the thousand or the million dollars that you're supposed to get, it'll do it though because they won't they won't give it to you after a while. You would be fighting to get that million dollars that yeah. you signed up for. Also, do your research. Find out what is behind the music and what is the message, and and stick together. Because I was I was listening to an actor and he said he questioned why was he doing this role, hmm. and they just said, "Well, we're going to go another way" because they don't want you to really realize what you're saying. Hmm. They want to keep you in a certain domin uh, dominated atmosphere. When you write, tell the story of how you really feel about things and what's going on with your credit card, what's going mm -hmm. on with um, why you can't get a credit card, why can't you get a house, mm -hmm. why can't you get a loan, what's going on with that? Mm -hmm. And do things that will make people open up. Why do you hate, why are we hating like this? Open it up yourself. Tell stories in a loving way. Love is very important because all of us, I could tell a story to anybody mm -hmm. and they'll say, you know, I kind of feel like that too. Yeah. And yeah. it's not even about the languages might be different, but
but they tell the same story. Mm. It's just like we got to start listening to each other, yeah. stand up for yourself, respect yourself, and know that you are you are a quality. Know yeah. that you are quality because we are, mm. because we're the first ones. We, we are the ones that create. Yeah. And don't give it away because somebody said, I didn't really like that, but let me have it. See, mm. don't do that. Mm. Yeah. Don't sell yourself. No, short. don't show yourself short. Mm -hmm. Try to get as much as you can, mm -hmm. and in a, a respected way. Right, right. And what are you? Um, is there anything that you're doing outside of music that is? Because um, you're from, you're local. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is there well, any... I'm not local now. I'm, they call me international because I've been traveling with. And you know what? I was one of the first. I was one of the first black rock singers, like Wing with Frank Zappa. Yeah. I was one of the first black female. I would call myself first black female rock singer because I didn't see anybody else singing. Dope, dope. But nobody gave me that credit. It was like, mm. keep it under there. But now, yeah. she's, now that Bianca's coming out. Yes. And I was one of the first. So you had to be the first of what you do, and you have followers. Mm. That's basically what I do. Okay, okay. Well, I'm trying to follow you so I can go <laughs> international. Yeah. Um, so what what is it, though? Um, has there any been any community work that you've been doing um, recently? Uh, to help support either other singers or other artists. Or, um, or I used to yourself. get private lessons all the time, but mm -hmm. then because of this space we have to right. do, they can't come, we can't get within each other. Mm -hmm. But I'm learning that I'm going to start a thing on Zoom where we can still, like when women get over 40, we still want to, we still think we're viable mm -hmm. and we still want to teach and we still want to sing and we'll put our hair up and stuff. So basically, yeah. I'm going to see if I can get some vocal lessons going through that. Okay. Too. Okay. Because with this new Zoom thing, boy, you can do anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, with that, um, uh, is there any way that people can find you and know where to locate you, websites, social Well, I'm a, I'm, I have a website at LadyBiancaBanzoogle.com. Okay. We'll put that on the bottom. Uh, LadyBiancaBanzoogle.com. And she's, I'm always updating it, so you might not see it. You can always see me on YouTube, Lady Bianca. Nice. Um, i got lots of them there. And I'm. Uh, you can always see me at Lady Bianca on Facebook, L A B E E Bianca, uh, at Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I just recently did a, a a Facebook concert called "Can't Stop the Blues." Yeah, and you can right. see me on there. Mm -hmm. And then there, we we always like we can't go out and make the money. So can you guys leave a tip, please? Sure. Tip for us, you know, <laughs> because it's important that musicians are having it so hard right now. Yes, yes. And yes. some of us don't have a backup job, mm -hmm. and that's another thing. Uh, young people, get yourself a backup job, get yourself, get your education, and then when you when you're holding on, you can swing to the next one once you get it. Right. But don't right. just go out there like that because it does change. Get a backup job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And get a wife and a husband <laughs> that'll support you. Don't get one that won't support you. You won't. You gonna go to work. You're not saying nothing. Okay. But get somebody that understands. You know. Yes. Get a hot, get a family, so you, you know you got it. Uh, last question: mm -hmm. um, If you could, uh, do you have a theme song that represents where you're at right now? I would say to the people, hold on a little while longer. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be all right because I know we're going to have a mighty good time when this is all over. Yes. We get to be able to get back together with each other, and so that's basically what we're going to be doing. We're looking forward to 2021, not mm -hmm. being so dramatic. Mm -hmm. It's 2020. Yes, and if you could, can you sing a little bit of oh, that song for sure. me? We're going to have a good time. Going to have a good time. Going to have a good time. Right here, here, in the Lord, yeah, a good time. Going to have a good time. Going to have a good time. Here in the Lord. Well, I was just sitting there. It could feel fine. And then a lady next to me stood up with a calling on Jesus' name. The preacher began to preach and the choir began to sing. I felt somebody touch me. Somebody called my name. The talk was, whoa, oh, a good time. Whoa, oh, a good time. Yeah, yeah, what a good time. I had a money line. I had a money line. I had a money line. I made a money, I made a money, I made a money, I made a money, 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 money. Good times. Yes. Oh. Never gets old. 
Well, thank you so, 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 so much for gracing us with your presence, for being here. You're welcome. Um, I, I just, and I totally agree as far as with the Amp Oakland giving us all of us the I want to thank you one more yes. time for that because mm -hmm. Amp Oakland, you are giving up, you're a lifesaver to some of our musicians and to me too. And it gives us a, a, uh, an opportunity to step out into our world again just for a minute. Absolutely. You know? Not be yeah. shut up in the house with all those. There's so much talent in Oakland. We have got talent yes, here. Yes, yes, we yes. do. Yes, we do. And we definitely want to be able to support our Oakland artists, yes. our local artists, our restaurants, our companies, everybody that's in Oakland right now. Please find your way to our website and Lady Bianca's website to give as much support as you can. As in time. donation. Yes. Donation. <laughs> Donation. Okay. <laughs> right. We can't stress that enough. So we'll definitely put the links here up below on the website so you can check them out. But thank you again. And please stay tuned. We have another performance by the wonderful, magnificent, amazing Lady Bianca coming up for you next. Thank you again. Thank you. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on, everybody, let's have fun. You only live once, and when you're dead, you're done. Hey, man. Everything gonna be alright. Let's get mean on the scene. We gonna party tonight. Hey, I want to do it till the daylight comes, hey baby. Everything gonna be alright, alright. Yeah, let's get me on. We gonna party tonight. Everybody say party. Everybody say party. Everybody say party. Everybody say party, say. Let's get me on a scene. We gonna party tonight. Oh, come on, kid.
when you, when you go to the nightclub, you know, you be up in there and, and then you see somebody walk in there, walk in there, but you don't know him or nothing. And you don't know if he got a girlfriend or if he got a man, but you may say, that show is attractive right there. But then you know better than open your mouth, especially if you're in Detroit. You don't be telling to me, nobody if you don't know them, because they will cut you loose. Over <laughs> so you know, I could just, I just be like, one time I seen this man. He walked in there. Hey, he had that old smelly perfume on those. I didn't like that part. He, was like, he had a little cheap perfume. He looked rich, but he had that cheap perfume on. Damn. And then when I went home, I still had that perfume on me. <laughs> it had them nice. I said, How you doing? He said, Could you just go away? You give me you give me hay fever. Damn. <laughs> One, two, three. And then the band started playing. And he would and he come for right for me. I got so much love. Baby, wait just for you. I got so much love. Baby, wait just for you. I know the way that you love me. I know that you could love me too. Yeah, you so good look at me. Built up from the ground. Yeah, yeah. Built up from the ground. I know the way that you love me. If my love comes from the ground. Yeah, you're just my height, baby. Just my way to style. Yeah, you're just my height, baby. Just my way to style. One thing I just love about you, baby. You got some great big pretty eyes. See when the band get get full of they be be having plants they be having they be full of plants you know and the band uh, come back on stage and they and, and they don't want to play too many songs because I mean they have to think so they go and get a groove and they play that groove all night long and then you be getting in the groove till you be hearing the groove when you go home it was one like this and it be funky and you be like listening and then everybody say play that play that one where you just get in the groove. And and then they next start moving like you're on the side, you know. Yeah, but that's when you know it's funky. When you when you can't bob your head up and down, you have to lay it to the side. And then you have a neck ache tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you go like this. One, two, three. <laughs>
Y'all had to go wipe it down, didn't you? I know you did. Oh, 
we're gonna go and stay. Oh, that's how you make me feel, honey. I'm out in the space. Hi. Are you having a good time, folks? Y'all better be writing something down on in them boxes over there. Watch this here. And you know you put this is cocktail week, right? So uh, I'm gonna I'm do one of my songs that we wrote about people drinking. But this is the thing, you know, ladies, we don't want nobody to see us out about drinking because we get vulnerable if we do that. But, I know when y'all go home, like you can do with the virus, the co-virus right now. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can bring home your 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 drink, your tequila, or whatever it was and ever. See, I like tequila, and I can't drink that much beer because I'll get blowed up if I drink too much. But I sure like some beer, but I'm, I like tequila too because you could drink it, and, and then you'd be feeling mellow, and then next thing you know, it'd be tomorrow. You know? <laughs> So, so I wrote this song and I, and I, I told Ashwin, I said, Ashwin, I said, Ashwin, put a, put a bass line to it. And he sure came up with a good one. Come on, Ashwin. Yeah, that man I can't have you You got me drinking the Lord I, I I feel so good Oh I just hang around I just be calling your name. You got a Oh, I 
Some, uh, I want some tequila. I want some Coyo Round. Well, I want some Coyo Round. I want some. Uh, I want some of that uh, cinnamon liquor. That you that cinnamon liquor. That's some good stuff right there. You get a little burn with it. And I need some lemons. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And let me get some beer. Oh, wait, wait. wait I can get some Merlot. So I can sell myself got some Merlot, and I need some of the big beats over there. I want them. No, I don't want them one in the bag. I want them in the jar. And give me some of them pickles too. <laughs> yeah, put it on my tab. What you mean, you ain't? I don't have a. Yes, I do have a tab. Maybe last time you get that tab. Uh huh. You did. Uh -uh, and you, you could have better put that on there. But what you mean I didn't pay for? It? Yes, I did pay for. You remember how I paid you? Remember how I paid you the last time? You remember that? You remember how I paid you? You better, you better, well, you don't remember? I'm going to tell your wife. Your wife in the back, I'm going to go with that there and tell her what you did. And not what I did, I'm going to tell her what you did. I know you don't let me have it. Uh huh. Don't be pushing me out the door. What the hell wrong with you? Don't touch, don't touch me. Now he done slammed the door in my face. I don't care. I got me licking. I'm going to walk down there. I'm right here, going up my stairs, on my way to my room down the hall. Well, I'm already in here. I'm going to open this up now. I'm going to take me a big old slug of this uh, tequila. Ooh, yeah. I ain't got time to slice that even. Oh, let me sit down. That was a strong one. I know he, I'm going to call him up on the phone. Hello? Uh, hello? Now he done hung up on me. I know he's too glad that next to that woman, that other woman. You better come over here. I'm going to tell you too. You better come over here. I'll wait for him. Oh, damn. I'm feeling sleepy. Uh, It ain't me, but I have a friend. 
He live in Hollywood. She got everything. She got a mansion on the hill. She got gold rings, diamond bracelets. She have liposuction, breast reduction. She got five filter. She got her hair done any kind of way she wants. She's beautiful. But there's one thing about her, she be sad. She call me early in the morning sometimes. She be full of her low too. <laughs> That's what she told me one time. I got a big fine home. Chauffeur driven limousine. I fed a parish and wrong to buy my furs and diamonds. I eat at the finest diners, yeah, yeah. I don't stock in no wells and tea bills. I got my own fashion design. Everything I want. Except the one thing I really need. Moving and growing. 
Não Shot we got there. Before we do this, we can do the vocal together. You know, there's been a lot of changes during the co-virus age. Let's go in our house and look at the TV and look at the wind in the window at the neighbor house. <laughs> she said, I never knew the neighbor was like that. But I figured out something. 
like this week, everything was changing, 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 changing. I had to just make the change with it. You know what I was thinking? I said, but every time I think, I, I know where it's at. Big move. Every time I think I know the plan, they change it. Every time I think up and down, every time I think it's squares round, just when I think it's me and you. I Give them credit for being awesome. Right here at Beat Not Diana Company. On the foot, on the foot. He puts the foot on you and you like it. He puts the foot right on you and you like it. He puts the foot right on you and you like it. He puts the foot right on you and you like it. Joey Trusso. You know what they say about the bass man. The bass man is the bass man. He's the bass man that does the bass and the bass man. Here's the bass man. If you don't like the bass man, then you ain't got a good record. And it's my son, Archman O. Odin. And then... The heavy fingers, the heavy fingers, the heavy uh, uh, fingers across my neck. He slides up and down the heavy fingers, up and down the heavy fingers. It's the Kenya finger. You're freaking, you're freaking. You want to hear some of our records? Just go to Pandora. You can go to, uh, you can go to uh, CD Baby. Go to iTunes. We 
got to give credit to Mr. Stanley Lippy for writing all these fantastic songs he sang. As y'all heard on here, it was originals right here in Oakland, California on Magic Bowl Records. My name is Lady Bianca, and I am the only artist on my own record company, Lady Bianca. I like it that way, and this is how it goes, yeah. And you'll hear these fantastic musicians that you see right here playing on my record. Record one, record two, record three, record four, record five, record six, record seven, record eight, and nine, ten, and eleven. They get me and I get them. Have you had a good time, ladies and gentlemen? We hope you did. I hope you laughed a couple of times. You know, ain't nothing like laughing. You can't be looking around always just mad about stuff because then you get creases up by your lips. You need some, some smile creases on your lips. Every time you think you smile for a while. Every time you use a smile for a while. Don't wear a frown in town. Don't wear no frown in town. Just, just, just change it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We so had a good time. Write in that little box over there so we can know that you liked it. And I hope to see you soon again, okay? Thank you. Thank you, AMP Oakland. Y'all did this. Y'all did this. I want to thank my child, my Rashida Chase, and Mr. M. For his, Mr. M. James, for his contribution. Fantastic group of people. Fantastic. And then my kind, okay? Thank you. Thank you for the cameraman and the sound man. Y'all did y'all thing. I don't know remember your name because you know I'm old, but that's all right. Every time I think of you, it's you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Every time I think of you, it's too.